Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to be running through how to set up and process deductions in payroll. So the scenario we're going to be looking at is if you have a new employee at your business and they needed to get a working with children check so they could go out and work with kids in the community. And the arrangement was that they were going to pay for this themselves, but they don't have the money to pay for it right now. So you agreed to pay for the check on their behalf, and then they were going to reimburse you over two weeks out of their paycheck. So let's go run a profit and loss. Okay, so we've got a PL here for the month of September. We'll scroll down. And let's say that the working with children check cost $100 and we put it to the registrations account. Here it is. So the business has already paid out $100 and the business has claimed that as a tax deduction. Now we need to set up the deduction item that will flow through to the payroll. So we're gonna duplicate the screen here and we'll go into the settings payroll settings, pay items, deductions, and here we have a list of all the payroll deduction types that are set up so far. So we've got FBT, fringe benefits tax, lease payments, might be lease payments on a car, a novated lease or something like that. We've got uh, other post-tax deductions, pre-tax deductions, and union fees. None of these is what we want to use for our working with children check. So we need to add a new pay item. And we're going to call it uh, working with children check. The account, as we saw before, is registrations. From the PL here, registrations. Now, when you're selecting your account here, registrations, if your account isn't in the list, if you can't find the account category you need here, you're going to have to create a new account in the chart of accounts. I'm not gonna cover how to do that in this video. I've already made a video about that, so I'm gonna put a link up the top there. So if you wanna check that out, go have a look at that. And do we wanna select these boxes down here? Well, let's have a look at it. Reduces pay-as-you-go withholding. No, we don't want to do that. If we do do that, it would be a pre-tax salary sacrifice. So we're not going to, going to tick that because it's not a salary sacrifice. It's a reimbursement out of their post-tax earnings. Reduces super guarantee. No, we don't want to do that because they want to get super on their full gross wage. Exclude from W1. If selected, this will reduce the reportable amount on your activity statements. We don't want to do that either. So we're going to click add, and here it is down the bottom here. Now, what we do is we go to our payroll. So I'm going to open up a pay run here, and we'll go to this draft. Okay, so let's say the employee in question here is Sally Martin. So first we're gonna take a screenshot of her pay details so we can compare the tax, the super, the net pay, so forth after we make the entry for the deduction. And we'll go in and have a look at her payroll. Okay, so we're going to add a deduction here working with children check fixed amount and you'll see the account there is registrations that we set up before okay and the agreement was she was going to reimburse the cost of the working with children check over two pay periods the total cost was 100 so she's going to reimburse 50 in each pay period so we'll input 50 here into the deduction field and we'll save that back to the main payroll screen and we'll compare these figures to what we had before we put in the deduction entry. 
So earnings were 2280. They're still 2280. Tax was 386. It's still 386 because we didn't want to reduce the PAYG. Super is 20520. That's the same at 20520 because we didn't want to reduce the super guarantee. But net pay should have reduced by $50. So we had $17.94. You take $50 off that and you end up with $17.44. So that is exactly what we wanted to see. And then we're going to click post. Okay, that's posted. So what should happen now is, because we've posted that deduction, in Sally's pay for $50 going to the registrations account for the working with children check, that should post a credit to the general ledger to the registrations account. So this $100 here should reduce to $50 to say that the outstanding amount is now $50 because it was 100, she's repaid 50, she owes another 50. So let's refresh this and see if that worked. Registrations is now 50. Beautiful. So when we do the next payroll fortnight and Sally uh, has the second $50 deduction from a payroll, what's going to happen is this $50 will then reduce to zero because the business has been fully compensated, fully reimbursed for that initial $100 outlay. Anyway guys, that's about it for the video. I hope that we've passed on a little bit of knowledge here. If you'd like to book in a training session, head over to the link in the description. We can help you out with whatever needs to be done. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.